So, hello everyone, welcome to other vlog. So I feel like I'm trying to do different things this month. So, last week I let Wordle pick my TBR, which I read three books for, which was pretty amazing. This week I will try and finish, finish, not start and finish, but finish seven books. Will I be able to do it? Well, I don't know. However, there are four books already that I need to finish this week. So three more sh shouldn't be that big of a problem and one of them I am already far into. So let's talk about the books that I need to finish this week because they are due back in the library by Monday, like next Monday. So, so the first one is Silmarillion and um, so I am on page 158, so I didn't read my part yesterday, which uh, sucks, but I will try. I have this as an audiobook, so I will finish this one first as an audiobook, because I have another one that I want to read as an audiobook. However, I need to finish this one first. So this is the first one. Uh, hopefully I will be able to, you know, listen to more than one story every day, just so I am able to finish things just because to finish this I need to listen to like 100 pages every day um, for, or like read 100 pages every day to finish it within a week not this one particularly but the four books that I have so that's the first one then we have the inheritance game and I am on page 202 didn't read anything yesterday as well didn't read it yesterday so but yeah, um, I'm not fully invested in this, so this shouldn't take me too long, just because I kind of speed read through it, because it's I just don't think it's that interesting. I don't think this type of thriller is for me. So it shouldn't take me too long. This is the second book. Then we have the third one that I have already started, and that is Dune. And I am on page 352. So I am like halfway through this book. So this is, I think, the one that would take me the most time, just because it's, it's a lot. So this one is like 600 pages and not with the appendix so but yeah this is the third book that i will finish this week and then the fourth book that is my library book is the queen's gambit i do have this i do have this as an audiobook as well so this one it's kind of long i mean this one is 243 pages however the audiobook is quite long which scares me so i hope this is good or so bad that i dnf it you know rather those two that i love it and really want to read it uh, or not so i really want to read this and watch the tv show so let's talk about the other three books that i want to finish this so, two of them are for my Aurelian Path TBR. So the first one I am a good dent into, and that is Doing Harm. I am on page uh, like 250 of this, so I am almost done with this book. And I'm not going to say anything more about it here, uh, because the Aurelian vlog will be up like within... When I have read all the books that I need to do, to read, yeah. So, and the second book for my Aurelian Path is The Choice by Nicholas Sparks. So this is um, another book. It shouldn't take me too long, you know. This is, I mean, Nicholas Sparks' books are not that long. 
and it shouldn't take too long to finish this I mean it's a romance I hope I think it's a romance so it shouldn't take me too long I mean my copy is over 300 pages however it does say that is like 250 something so this is just a smaller size of a book um, but it shouldn't be too long so yeah this is also on my weekly to-do list and then the last one I hope that I will be able to do read this within a day I have been able to do it before not this book, but this series, and that is The Bronze Beasts. So this is the third book in the Gilded Wolf series, and I have loved the other two, given give them four stars. So this is, I think it's the conclusion. Yeah, finale. So, I can't wait to read this. I hope it's as good as the other two has been. And let's see how this ends, you know. So, that was my reading plans for this week. Hopefully I will be able to, you know, get to all of them. Possibly some more if I am lucky. Um, but seven books is my hope. So this one, you know, they will tick off a few things. Uh, like doing harm is on my bingo board and the choice is on my bingo board and the bronze beast is on my bingo board and I can put dune on there if I want to do that and other than that uh, nothing is on there but you know four out of seven books is quite good so Going to update anything more and now I am going to get to you know reading and everything like that hope I'm I will try and not update too much because I hate when my vlogs get too long because I I mean people might watch them but I don't like edit too long videos because it's such a hassle so it's later in the day and I have finished the book it didn't take me too long because I was almost 200 pages into this book and it's like I was over 200 pages in I was like 250 maybe yeah 250 and it's like 300 pages so I had like 50 pages left that is doing harm uh, this is for my Aurelian Path vlog so I won't talk about it here so I finished it and if you want to know how I feel about it, you should check out my vlog. But yeah, this one will fit for around here. Now we can see it as usual. I feel like I always have this one here. So yeah. So this one was for my non-fiction. And that should be this one right here. So non-fiction, another prompt off the board we are doing quite well actually so to be completely honest nonfiction is something that I want to read more of so I'm going to put it back in like the normal one so I can pick it again some of these like genre prompts I will do that with just because you know genre it's something that I can get over again and I feel like you know like let Wordle pick like a book for a week I don't want to do that too often so you know just put it in this empty one so I can you know <sighs> yeah and if there is like prompt I don't feel like doing too often I would just put it out and you know so I actually can't wait to pick again but it's um you know uh, too early to do that um so, but I can't wait to do that again. It's going to be a lot of fun, you know. I have gotten some more joy and, you know, I I just feel like I also, when I do this, I get more motivated to read the books on my shelf because that is where I pick, like, first from. So on this point, you know, I have 
113 books on my shelf left, like that I haven't read. So it's still a lot, uh, and it's like I need to read like 20 books of my TBR every single month to be able to get everything off. Not everything I can get off my TBR, you know, because there are some books that are like. <sighs> Some of it is like in the um, Mortal Instrument series and you know, I don't know why I did that but I bought like further down the series and I'm going to read them in the order that they were published. Five prompts down so we have like 20 to go and to be completely honest what I am going to do, I am going to see if like the Silmarillion or something fits for this so I can, you know, get it off. If not, um, then I won't. I mean, I will say possibly the, the Inheritance game will go for a recommendation and possibly the Silmarillion as well, like that. Someone likes that and um, maybe I will just go into like Goodreads and see if anyone of the ones that I follow for, you know, like uh, Booktube or anyone that I follow on Goodreads has given it five stars because obviously I just take that as, you know, I love this book and possibly, you know, if you give a book five stars, you definitely recommend the book. So I might do that. Um, when I finish it, just so I am, you know, able to and not like take off more prompts because that is fun. So, so yeah, I mean, like one of the recommended ones is The Night Circus. I need to read that. And another recommendation is Red Rising. I don't have to get to Red Rising, so I can use one of those there. And you is also a recommended one. I don't have to read that, so I also could possibly use that one there. And Dune, I can use for book list of the year because I do have that one there. Which basically, but the Queen's Gambit kind of don't fit anywhere. Oh, wait, we have recommended a Monster Calls. I don't have that one either, so I can pick that one. If someone loves the Queen's Gambit, I don't know. But I, that is kind of the only one that will fit for that. So, that is kind of my thoughts, like maybe thoughts, like maybe I will do that and just get like the recommended ones off here. Doubt that I will get all of these Star Wars ones done because the one that I am on right now is, I just feel like it's really slow and I don't know what is going on. But I have to read some of that too, just so I get at least one of these out off like so i don't end up with you know only blacks because i don't read my star wars books so let's go for one of these and then i will still have two left but some of the ones that is upcoming is like really short uh, some of them are really long i think one of them is an audiobook maybe it's this one or this one so it's actually much much later it's like right before bed. However, I finished two books, so here we are. Um, going to wrap up today, and yeah, so I finished three books today, out of the seven that I want to finish. So we are definitely doing really, really well, and now I only have two. Yeah, I have two. Uh, library books left. So yeah, <coughs> let's talk about books and then do the board. So the first book I finished was The Silmarillion and this is basically kind of a history behind Middle-earth and I think that if you have read The Lord of the Rings and you like the history of that and would like to learn more, then 
you can read this, you know. You get to know a lot of people you don't know, and then some people you do know, like Galadriel uh, Elrond, and you meet Thranduil at some point during this book as well. But there are not a lot of, you know, familiar characters in this. I, I give it three stars. I liked it. And I'm happy that I have read it. However, it's not like a new favorite book. I like the, like, Hobbit and Lord of the Rings books more. But overall, this was a solid book. And yeah, I'm definitely going to, you know, maybe read more. I definitely have to see if I continue on with something. But overall, this was good. Some information and, you know, when the Ring of Power or whatever it is, I will watch it. If I will like it, that's something else because, yeah, oh, three stars. So, I can use it for a recommendation because there are definitely some people who has like recommended it and, you know, it is like a, maybe not a highly recommended book, but, you know, a lot of people really like that book. There was a lot of five stars when I, when I saw it, so let's just, I don't know, let's just take this one. So now we have three down, three over. So let's talk about the other one. And this one is also highly recommended, so we can definitely use it for a recommend product. That is the inheritance game. And in this one, we are basically following Avery. She basically inherits a fortune from this guy that she has no idea who she is, who he is. And she moves into the Hawthorne like mansion. And basically she and the four brothers in this are trying to figure out what, why, how, and yeah, why she basically got their money. So I give it three stars. It was okay. I am intrigued enough to maybe continue on with this. It's not like a highly priority book, but it's definitely something something that I can continue on with. Um, I might not. I have to see if the other books are on the library, or if I'm just going to try and find an audio book to listen to. So something in those lines. So three stars, I liked it. Not a new favorite, but overall it was a decent read. And I'm intrigued enough to continue on. So that was another recommendation that we can get done. So I am going to pick this one. So now we have three here, three here, and three here. So you're actually doing pretty well with everything except the Star Wars books because the one that I'm currently reading is not my new favorite thing but it's not on my list so maybe I should just put it on my list to possibly you know try and finish this week so I know my battery is soon dead so I will just wrap this one quickly up I have finished choice so basically this one will be in my early empath vlog which will be up Sooner or later, it really depends on when I get to the rest, but yeah, I will talk more in that vlog, so I won't talk about it here. But it fits for the board, it is it's fit for this one, which is one of my own books, so we will take that one off like that. So now I only have one left, which is you know really really great. So I have read a lot of books uh, right now, so that's that's great. But I'm going to go charge my battery because it's <laughs> it's dead, and uh, yeah, I will talk more later when I have you know read some more. So it's Thursday, and it's Thursday, right? Yeah. So I have finished a book. I have finished Dune. And I gave this four stars, really liked it. 
like a little confusing um, because it's like really like heavy sci-fi but overall I really did enjoy this I don't know if I feel like I'm taking on with this series because it is a little serious and yeah I don't know to be completely honest um, I like it enough so yeah I would recommend it but it's not like something that I will continue on with right now I mean the whole series is like at my library so it is a possibility but I don't feel like you know I have to continue on with it right now so uh, I have also made some progress with two books so I mean we don't have that much left we have read like five books I think so we are at so that's good one book I have made progress with is The Last Magician and I am on page 202 so far it's okay I don't think this will be a new favorite then I have read a little bit more in Develop Ascension which is the second book in the Miss Bar series and I am on page 129, so 130 I am on. So far, I'm liking it. It's slow going, but overall, I like it. However, let's talk about Doom. It can fit for this one, which is the uh, book list of the year, I have called it. So, this one. Dune was our um, biggest book, so we are going to take a level up. So now we are like really close to this. I doubt that I will get this one done though. So yeah, so far we are actually doing pretty well. Okay, so it's Friday, and I have a book today as well. My hair looks really strange um but yeah i finished the book and um that is the queen's gambit so this is what my fifth sixth fifth fifth book right for the week i think it's a fifth i yeah something something like that Fifth or sixth book, most likely fifth. Right? Sixth. Might be actually the sixth book, which means that I only missed one. Let's check that out, right? Um, so we have finished. Is the fifth? So this is the sixth book. Wow, that's uh, really we miss one book. Most likely, I will try and finish two more, which would be great. But at least like one more. So the Queen's Gambit. This is basically about Beth Harmon, and she is this genius in chess. So I really wanted to watch the TV show for this. So I read the book first. I think I'm going to at least start watching the first episode and see if this is something for me this book I give it three stars just because I don't think it's for me because I don't play chess I don't understand anything about chess so yeah it was okay I liked it enough but you know three stars it was okay not like a new favorite book and yeah I just I liked it wasn't yeah so I just I think the reason why I didn't love this is because I don't play chess I don't understand chess and there was a lot of chess talk in here and yeah I just didn't love that and I mean if you really if you like chess then this book might be for you or if you like something in those lines then yeah maybe you will like it but i give it three stars so this one uh, someone has given this five stars so i take this as a recommendation so i'm going to take 
this one right here, which you just can see. So let's just take that off. So that is like what the third. Yeah, this is the third uh, recommendation. So yeah, overall it's okay, pretty good, and um, yeah, I definitely think that when I am building my board again, like next for next month, I am going to say that I can maximum have like, I think, I don't know if I'm going to make it five of every piece or just five of the Star Wars books, because I don't think, I won't, it's just really difficult to finish Star Wars books because they are really, really slow and not my favorite books, some of them. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I might do like maximum of like five of each piece just so I have a variety of it. Like only five of the recommendations and five of these. And yeah, just so I have a wide like range of different prompts that I can pick from. I think I will do it like that because it's just great to have a lot of different things and I don't last I think I didn't have yeah I didn't have uh, like uh, five of every piece on the board which is great like you have five or less so you know if I don't finish any Star Wars books I can only pick two of these before I like put them back because I I don't want to have too many of the ball, the pieces but I am going to you know say that in that video so everyone you know see that so right now let's just I am currently reading The Last Magician and I am like halfway through this book I am on page 200 and 40 or something it's okay not a new favorite book I don't think this will be more of a th I think it will be like a three stars just because for me it's, it's not super interesting and I just halfly listen but I am going to continue on and finish this book because it's interesting enough but I don't think I will continue on with that series and then yeah, I don't know. I might try and listen to quite a lot, so I kind of finished that today. I mean, this one is also on my board, which is great. I think it might be blue. Yeah, the blue. Um, which is like a D20 or like basically... I have like all these books that I have on my shelf which basically is really great because I need to finish those so now I've been talking for a while so I'm going to go and read so it's actually not that later um still sending still writing so I have just finished those magician I'm going to read these two stars I didn't like it I just I I cannot actually tell you what this book is about. It's basically about Esta who is going to travel back in time, find this book from a guy called the Magician. I just found this boring. I just I listened to it as an audiobook, however, like at page like 300, I quit the audiobook and just like read it quickly through the rest because I didn't care so I didn't connect with the characters and I just overall was a little bored so yeah other than that I don't know I mean it's 500 pages I don't think that I will continue on with this series I mean it's interesting enough but i doubt that i will think about this after today however it does fit for the board it's like all the way down here it's this blue one so we're just going to take that one 
so that's good and fine we finished yet another book um so we're at the but oh, we had actually seven books i think there really might be so let's check yeah we are at seven books so i have finished all the books that i need to finish so that's like great fantastic um so yeah now we have we have 14 books left which is a lot but yeah i don't know if i will finish all of them but i think i might finish most of most of them i hopefully will get like one star wars book done so yeah other than that i don't really know but it's going pretty well so it's saturday and i was like a little nice to myself so i was supposed to receive it from my star wars prompts but i found another list that the seed is also on and there was a few books before that and basically these are really short stories and a comic so let's just talk about those three that i read uh, they were pretty short like one of them i didn't even read because it was two pages but i'm gonna count it because goodreads counted so is it cheating? Probably, but we're gonna go with it. So yeah, the first one was uh, Dawn of the Jedi, um, Eruption, and this is basically like a prequel to Dawn of the Jedi, Into the Void, which I read like a little while ago, and I gave it three stars, so I liked it. It was okay. Um, I give it Into the Void also three stars, so it's an okay book, it's not like my new favorite thing, but overall it's okay. So that means one Star Wars prompt down, three to go, but we already have her in three books. So, number one was The Adventures of Lenary Brock, and this is basically like a, like the new assignment that Lenary Brock, she is I think she's in into the void basically it's her like new assignment i didn't rate this because it was two pages so yeah we didn't rate that but <laughs> i'm gonna count it because goodreads counted so the third one is dawn of the jedi for storm and this is a comic and it's basically in like the same like universe everything in Star Wars is the same universe however it is in the, in the um, Dawn of the Jedi like series except that these are comics and I give it three stars I liked it it was like a new favorite thing ever um, but overall I really did like it as a comic I will continue on with it I mean I won't buy them but I will continue on with them that means another Star Wars books book down we are doing really well this week so we still have quite a lot of books to go through but we have a bingo here so that is great we already have one bingo and we are really close to quite a lot and we still have two weeks left of the month so that is really great and I think I will be able to finish at least one book today. So the book I'm currently on, I have taken this jacket off, but it is um, The Bronze Beast and I am on page 248 so I have this much left. So. This is the third book in the uh, Gilded Wolf series and yeah, so far I'm really enjoying this and I can't wait to finish this series even though it's so good and I could just keep on going with this series but I think it's only a trilogy. Um, this one came out in 2021 but 
this is a trilogy, at least as far as I know. And that one also fits on the board. Uh, it is for the LGBTQIA plus down here because it was on an LGBTQIA plus list and I do believe that en Enrique, I think his name is that, I think he is rather gay or bi and Hypnos is, I don't know if he's bi or gay as well. So, at least it was at least on an LGBTQIA plus list and you know, I get in some of those vibes. Nothing like kind of happens yet, but yeah. So, I think I will be able to finish at least one book. I should start another one. I should start the Wicked Deep because I need to finish my Aurelian Path before next weekend. But I think I will be able to do that and I mean, we have a week left and then we will reset the board. So, I think I might film it on Thursday or on Friday, just so we are really close to the weekend. And then see what do we have left. And also, are there any books on here that I think I will be able to finish? Because, yeah. Not like next weekend, but the weekend after that so we have like almost two weeks and you know next week I need to finish five of the books on here oh. um, I just finished the Blunt Beasts um, I'm getting up these four stars as well like the rest of the series uh, overall I really enjoyed this series and um, yeah like now I have one series down and overall I really am I really like this book I have really enjoyed this entire series and yeah it was great to see how it ended and yeah so this one is for uh, this one down here LGBTQIA plus and I won't say that um, you don't have kind of a romance romance in this um, you have, you definitely see hints that some of the characters are not straight, but you don't kind of have a romance romance in this. Um, so yeah, it's just like, you know that some of them are not straight and yeah, that is kind of everything you get. And yeah, yeah, overall, I really enjoyed this book. We have finished yet another prompt, which is great so I we have finished so many books this week and a lot of them have been like full-sized books and some of them are like things that I was halfly done with but yeah overall it went it has gone really really well if I am being honest it's yeah it's just going really really well and the board is going really really well we have two weeks to finish Ten prompts. That is five prompts a week. A little bit more than that because hopefully I will be able to finish everything before I'm actually filming another one. That would be really great, you know, if I just finished off this board. If that will happen, I don't know. I don't think that I have like a lot of huge books. Uh, I don't think that I have that. I mean. The largest one, is, I think, is After We Collided, and that is a pretty easy read. It won't take me too long to read that. That is like the last... I need to finish my Aurelian Path TBR before I start reading that, so... I will start that probably on Friday or Saturday. It really depends on when I finish this. And, yeah. That... This should be really interesting if to see if I am able to finish everything that I have planned. But yeah, I'm going to go. I have a video to edit before it's going up. So I'm going to go. And now, yeah, I'll see you later. So 
I have finished two more books and to be honest uh, I won't talk much about this here. I will just mention them before we wrap up this vlog because they will be in the other big reading vlog which will hopefully be out as you see in this this like um the Saturday that comes. So the first book that I finished was The Wicked Deep and yeah all my thoughts will be there. I didn't have many but yeah, my thoughts will be in there. But this one fits for the paranormal pant, which is this one right here. So we are going to take that one off. Like that. So, that was this one. Yeah. Then I also finished Cursed Body. And, yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know what I'm going to say about this book. Uh, it that one will also be in the Orlean Pop vlog. I don't have much thoughts about this one either. But this one fits for the BIPOC world because this was originally written in Korean and the author is Korean. So, taking this one off as well. So, now we don't have much left. We have we have eight prompts left, which is basically four books a week. So we should be pretty safe. And yeah, I have also started up again the one that fits for one of the other ones, which is uh, on the Kindle, and that is um, Truth or Beard. But I haven't gotten much into that book, so. That was all the books. So, I will wrap up this vlog today now and I won't read anything else tomorrow. I doubt that I will. Also, that I will start something and not finish something. But yeah, I hope you like this vlog and I will see you next time for another one. Bye!